everyone to the forex wizard channel you know out here you would have an opportunity to discover different types of strategies throughout the world from different traders right so stay tuned make sure you subscribe to this channel right so what are we here for today we here to explain you a beautiful strategy that we have recently discovered it's called the 50 pips crossover uh, which has an accuracy of more than 75 percent so let me explain it again it's a purely technical strategy so you might have to be a little aware during the economical and political events right and um, the indicators that if you, uh, we've used in the strategy is exponential moving average of 5 and 10 per with different colors which is then yellow and red uh, we've also used RSI relative strength index at a 10 period on one level at 50 the most important factor of this strategy is uh, is the time frame that you have to make sure that you use this strategy only in one hour time frame right so that's like the mandatory thing that you have to do in the strategy because in you know, the rest of the time frames uh, it's actually not considered to be uh, you know a working a performed performing strategy right so make sure you you, uh, you have one hour of strategy one of one hour of time frame while using the strategy and so when whenever you want to enter a long position or a buy position you must see you know uh, certain conditions that needs to be met for example when you when you want to enter a long position or a buy position you make sure that you have an yellow exponential moving average crossing the red exponential moving average from underneath and also rsi must be approaching 50 level from the bottom and also cross 50 level to guarantee the entry okay so these are the two conditions for you to have a long position or a buy position right right so whenever you want to enter a short position or a sell position you must say that the LO exponential moving average is crossing the red exponential moving average from the top and also RSI must be approaching 50 50 level from the top and also crossing 50 to guarantee the entry Okay, so the, uh, the risk reward uh, that I've used in this uh, strategy is 1 is to 1, that means the TP and SL is at 50 pips, right? And uh, you know, whenever you want to exit, uh, whenever you want, you know, you, you see that the market is going against you and you want to exit, so you can exit uh, when you have a sell signal on a buy position, okay? Or you can exit on a sell signal on a buy position, okay? So whichever is necessary for you. Right, let's get started, let's see the chart here. Right now, I've got this RSI here at 50 level on 10 period, and I've got this two uh, yeah, exponential moving average indicators. One is at 5, which is at yellow, and another is 10, which is at red. So the condition is, you know, whenever there's a crossover between 5 and 10 EMAs, and the RSI is approaching the 50 level and also crossing the 50 level uh, from the bottom, then you have a beautiful buy position or a long position, right? So we buy it here, we take a long position somewhere here at this point and we set a TP at 50. So we ha would have easily got that 50 somewhere here, right, with no SL and pretty much no drawdown, no drawdown as well. Okay, so that's one. Another signal that we've got here is this one. So the RSI is approaching towards 50 and also crossing 50 level. And we've also got this two cross over here. So this gives us a beautiful short position. We enter somewhere here, you know, make sure, you know, guaranteeing the position, guaranteeing the entry, and set the TP at 50. We would have easily recovered. We, we would have easily covered 50 pips of profit here. Okay, that's one. Uh, I would also mention uh, you to not take any positions during this consolidation state because uh, you know. Uh, I mean there won't be any much profit, but there won't be any much losses as well So what you can do is you know you would have to uh, you would have done is enter in this position and exit again in this position So that wouldn't make any sense apart from you you know shelling out money on brokerage commissions and spreads, right? So make sure on the consolidation, uh, consolidation straight you don't enter any positions in the long buy, right? and uh, let's guess here so we have we've got another uh, signal here right 
so this uh, position this gives us a beautiful signal for long position or buy position so once we set 50 pips we would have easily recovered uh, you know we would have easily covered 50 pips here right with no much not much drawdown i would say yeah all right so here another signal here right so if you would have entered the position somewhere here we would have got about 23 pips now i also mentioned that when when you you know realize that the market is going against you uh what you can do is you can you know exit the position exit the sell position when you have you know when you have, when you see a buy signal approaching so we would have you know exit somewhere here with nine pips of profit or maybe a break even right so there wouldn't have been much loss if we would have maintained this right so the reason that i mentioned uh, you know not to trade during the economical and fundamental uh, events is because uh for instance if you're if you 